Hi and welcome to You Are The Chef. I'm Heidi and we're here today at the Grand Mercure Shanghai Hong Chao. Well, if you love salmon, then this is the week that you need to be staying tuned to because we're going to be using some amazing fresh salmon and we're going to be cooking it up in five different ways. But before we start that, let's go meet the chef. Today's chef is Stephen Chen. Having been in the culinary industry for nearly 13 years, he's gained incredible professional training. And just like his own motto says, he's the best of the best and Stephen is a perfectionist. Well, let's see how he's going to blow our minds. Today's dish is pan-fried Alaskan salmon with sesame seed and crepes wrapped salmon with asparagus. On the one side is the Alaskan salmon wrapped with sesame, on the other side is pan-fried salmon wrapped with crepes and all together decorated with asparagus and finished with lettuce. It's just like a gorgeous art cuisine that you're dying to taste. Well, this is a pretty cool dish because Chisha woman she yo lianga fang fa chi yong jika sami yu, shi shi. Hala, no woman jo kai shi ba. This is some oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, fang jiong ma. So you chu diao salmon yu li mi de xin wei. Shi ma, dan shi ru guo woman kao, shi bu shi jie ge jiu de wei dao hai hui zai shang mian. 不会，酒会挥发的嘛。OK， 如果我们没有这个 by p o t a t i o 我们可以用柠檬汁吗？柠檬汁少许也可以。OK， 好 ，OK。然后我们先把芝麻均匀的撒撒在盘子上。啊，芝麻其实这个是我们煎的时候它的香味出来，是不是？那我们要不要先开火？开火。要加一点油，加一点油 ，OK。OK， 待油温到三到四成的时候，可以把三文鱼放进去。OK， 因为这个是有这个芝麻在外面，对对对，不要太烫了。OK。嗯 ，Perfect。然后把火关小一点。OK。有一点点芝麻掉下来了，有问题吗？啊，没关系，这不影响到三文鱼的口感。OK。OK， 我们四边都煎好了，我们就放在烤箱多长时间？还有几度？八到十分钟，一百六十度。OK。While we're putting that into the oven, let's take a commercial break. Welcome back to You Are The Chef. Well, all this week we've created amazing dishes using salmon. Now today, we've actually got two dishes in one. We've just finished making our salmon with sesame seed on the outside. We've put it in the oven. Now that's cooking. We're going to prepare our next section. Okay, so we're now cooked. Then we're going to do what? Okay, we're going to cut the salmon into small pieces. Okay. We're going to cut the salmon into small pieces. Okay. Okay. Why do you want to use these two different ways to make salmon yu and put it together? Because salmon yu is a little bit sweet and the taste will be more sweet. And this is a combination of the Chinese dish. So this is a small dish. A small dish. Okay. This is actually, I think, put it in a pan, we have different flavors of salmon yu and different flavors. And the Chinese dish. Right. 放点盐，腌制一下。OK。放点少许的黑胡椒。啊，黑胡椒。哎，也是加一点白葡萄酒。对。然后拌在一起。这一拌的时候，我们做这个，我们要腌制一段时间吗？或者可以直接用？啊，可以直接用。OK。然后我再把芦笋。嗯。所以我们就拿那个芦笋的头，是吧？因为我看了很多中国人。他们是头是不吃的，他们是拿掉然后吃根，但其实我们外国人是喜欢这个头。对对对。我们现在锅子也热了，可以放一点油。加少许的油。然后火要少一点。要小一点。OK。OK。所以我们先吃分开煎是吧？是，在三文鱼快熟的时候
，然后我们把少许烫好的芦笋 ，OK， 放进去。所以其实这个芦笋已经烫好了，所以它已经熟了。最后可以用大火，大火 ，OK。所以应该说了，这所谓的那个沙曼的味道，它就会进去。对，这个芦笋。嗯 ，I like this idea。好的 ，OK。那我们现在有有我们的 crepes。crepes， 这是法国的薄饼。Yeah， OK。基本上很容易在家里做，这个是面粉。面粉、鸡蛋，呃，牛奶。牛奶。不用等这个冷了。这个是怎么包的？然后我们包法就像中国包烧麦一样。OK， great。So just like a little package， 你要我拿吗？然后再用葱。那这个葱你也是放在水里面。水里烫一下就好。OK。If you don't put it into hot water first， you'll find that it's very hard and it will break。When you're doing it, oh, that looks beautiful! I love it. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, 正好我们的那个三文鱼也好了，是不是？我们就可以开始装盘。That looks great. Hmm. What a fabulous salmon dish! And then we're gonna finish it off with some oh, a plate of salad. Perfect. We now have what kind of thing in this? We're going to add some wasabi mayonnaise. Okay, so this is very easy to make, right? Yes. 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 Something nice and crispy. That looks spectacular. Oh my goodness, there are so many different elements to it. And I just wonder whether I can remember the steps we took to get to this point. Well, let's go through and see if we can. We took our piece of salmon, we then put a bit of salt and pepper on it, and then we put our black and white sesame seeds on it. Once we've done that, we heat some oil up in the pan, we put our salmon into it and make sure that we fry just each of the sides just till they've got a bit of color. We then put it into the oven for 160 degrees for about 10 minutes. Once we're doing that, we can take our other piece of salmon, cut it up into cubes, and then take our asparagus, which has already been blanched and also cut up. We then heat some oil, put our salmon into it, cook it for a little while, and then add in our asparagus. So we're stir frying it. We take it off the heat, we take our crepe, we put our salmon and asparagus in the middle of it, and then we make it like a xiao mai. And we actually tie it off with a blanched piece of spring onion. Once we've done that, we can then start to plate it and bring all of the wonderful ingredients together. Now, I'm gonna taste it. If you want the perfect pan fried salmon, first you need to heat up your pan, then put your butter in. Now remember, butter can burn easily, so it's always good to put a touch of olive oil into it to increase the temperature so that it doesn't burn. Then when the pan is nice and hot, put your salmon in. If it's got skin on it, always put its skin down first. That way you'll ensure that you've got a nice crispy skin and a perfect liquid piece of salmon. And that's my tip of the day. Let's get stuck into it, shall we? Let's first take some of this. Wow, look at that. Now, this should be this or this. Both can. Both can. Hmm. I think I want to add a little bit of this. Okay. 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 The sesame seeds have got this beautiful crunchiness on the outside, but it's really kept that salmon flavor on the inside. And the wasabi just adds a bit of spiciness to it because when you've got the mayonnaise, it's quite oily. 
the wasabi just makes it a little bit cleaner, but just a bit of spiciness to it, so it's great in the mouth. Mm. Mm. Oh, that, that is great, that dish. Okay, let's cut this up and try a little bit of this. Okay, here we go. Mm. The asparagus is crunchy, but it's amazing how the asparagus has actually got quite a strong flavour to it. It's a very fresh and green sort of flavour. And with the salmon, it actually balances it out quite nicely because the salmon has got really quite a strong flavour. And then also with the egg crepe, it kind of, it does kind of taste slightly French in flavour. It's amazing. Two completely different dishes and they really brought out different aspects of the salmon. I love them when they combine together. That's it for us today and this week. Thank you so much. These are really fabulous dishes and I think they're things that really give us some idea about how we can create different dishes using salmon in our kitchen. Now, remember that we've got some more fabulous dishes coming up next week, so make sure you stay tuned. We'll see you then.